Hey there everybody, so uh, Linear Extensions is the name of the game today, and I got two patterns that literally have nothing in common, aside from the fact that uh, they feature Linear Extensions as their basic building block. So, uh, normally when we play around with elliptical caps, at least when I play around with elliptical caps, I'm playing around with a diamond that is bisected by a horizontal line and a vertical line. Um, essentially, there are four points of intercept that you play with, the point where the uh, the two middle lines intersect. We don't actually really use for any of the transits. It's just uh, it's just a byproduct of the figure. But it got me to thinking: what if the points of intercept, instead of being both for the bisecting line and for the diagonal lines, were instead bisecting the diagonal lines? So instead of we've got a cross in the middle, we have a diamond that is subdivided into four smaller diamonds. That is. We have diamond that goes across the bottom, transit across. Diamond that goes across the right, transit up top. Diamond on the top, transit across. Diamond on the left side, transit back to original point. And as you can see, it results in a figure 8 pattern that is not that terribly much different from the octagonal patterns we were playing with a couple weeks ago, right? The difference being, of course, that we've added an extra point of intercept. So, we can put our point together to do this as an elliptical cap that'll go top, bottom, diagonal, left side, diagonal, bottom, top, diagonal, right side, diagonal, and we're back to where we started, right? Put it all together. Kind of a funky variation on the diamond there, um, especially so because normally when we're playing with elliptical caps, we're playing around with a timing change of split time, uh, quarter time, same time, quarter time, split time, quarter time. And in this one, we're always going between different variants of quarter time, which I kind of dig. Next up, um, at Fire Drums, Alien John had this funky six pedal pattern that he was showing off that is box pattern in the middle, diamond pattern on the sides to give us six pedals of anti-spin, right? I like that it kind of slows down an anti-spin flower, lets it breathe a little bit. And of course, once I started playing with this, I thought, well, what if we take the box in the middle and bisect it like it was a diamond over on the side, in which case we wind up with a shape wherein we're doing diamond off to the side, diagonal across the box, across the top of the box, diagonal down through the box, diamond on the side, diagonal down through the box, across the bottom of the box, diagonal up to the edge of the box, and we're back to our original position, right? And with the poi, it looks this. Right? With two poi, uh-huh, uh looks like this. Or we could 
So, fun and interesting patterns or needlessly complicated with some basic patterns? I will let you, the viewer, decide. Yeah. So, that's what I got for y'all. Thank y'all for watching, and uh, I'll see you next go around. Peace.